Welcome to this painting tutorial. How's it going everyone? Welcome to this video. In this video I will show you how I painted my Mantis Warriors that Raging Heroes sent me. I followed pretty much my latest Demonet of Slanesh tutorial for this video uh, with a little changes uh, here and there. And it's a very quick and easy scheme that will have your miniatures uh, painted fast and looking great. The only thing that could make this painting process a little difficult could be that uh, being a very stylized and fine detailed model, it might be difficult to paint the very tiny parts without painting where you don't want to. Uh, I hope you enjoy this video and we'll get started. I'm going to prime the model in gray. For that, I use Vallejo Surface Primer Gray through an airbrush. You can use any other primer that you like. I would recommend using white or gray. So for the first step, I'm going to make a wash with Warp Fiend Gray and Matte Medium. You can use any other medium that you have. You can use uh, Lamian Medium or something else. I'm going to combine both uh, to the same ratio and then enough water to make it to a uh, wash consistency. It doesn't have to be perfect. You only need this uh, color to go into the recesses and color them in, all the shadows. And you want the rest of the miniature looking uh, more pale because it's going to be easier for us to cover a paler color a, a lighter color with with the next uh, Layer instead of uh, having a completely warp fiend gray model. This is going to be easier uh, later I made sure to wash the model completely just uh, to make sure that I don't miss any skin parts around the model Once that's done, you'll have a model that looks like this and after that, I'm going to use Ulthuan Grey. And Ulthuan Grey is a very pale color. And it's going to be difficult to cover even over very pale looking, other pale looking colors. So we're going to take it slow and do multiple coats. I think I did three of them. And I used uh, thin paint to get into all of the places that are uh, not crevices, or most of the skin area. And I did it on thin coats just to make sure that I don't create any extra texture or uh, crumbs of paint or anything like that. Just give it uh, a patchy uh, layer and make sure to cover the whole areas that you want. And then let it dry and come back and do it again. And as many times as you need for it to uh, achieve a complete opacity and that's it. Uh, just make sure to avoid the crevices and not have, uh, don't have a ton of paint on the tip of your brush or it might run into places where you don't want it. If you do any mistakes, you can come back with Warp Fiend Gray and paint in all those uh, shadows if you painted with this color where you, did, you didn't want to. Next, I'm going to use Model Color White uh, from Vallejo and with this color I'm going to pick up the sharpest edges around the model and give them a little edge highlight and that'll bring uh, the the details a little a little bit more it'll make it pop and it'll make it look a little bit more three-dimensional and this is a very effective way to bring up the highlights on this model once that's done we're done with the skin and i'm going to use model color black to paint in the eyes the eyes don't really need any extra work you can paint them up if you want in different colors and make a pupil and anything you like but uh, these model looks look very good with just uh, dark alien-like eyes and I think I like it very much like this. Next I decided to paint the claws and hair with uh, Screamer Pink and with this color I'm just going to paint those areas. Uh, just make sure to thin it down so that it doesn't uh, cover the detail and I'm going to just paint it very carefully not to get into the skin and um, use the finer brush on the edges where it meets with the light of the skin so that you don't paint over them. On the larger areas you can use a larger brush. Just make sure to be careful, uh, make it clean and give it a second coat if it needs it. Next I'm going to use Lead Belcher and with this color I'm going to paint all of the armor parts and accessories on the model. I also painted most of the legs with this color, although you could you paint them in the screamer pink if you want it as well. And also make sure to thin this color down uh, so it doesn't cover the detail. Uh, metallic colors tend to become very tacky and very thick uh, very quickly. Uh, so make sure you keep an eye on that and keep using thin paint so it goes on nicely and it doesn't uh, create any problems. 
Next, I'm going to come in with Drukai Violet and with this color, I'm going to shade both areas that we painted. So far, I'm going to shade in the Screamer Pink and the Lead Belcher. Uh, just make sure to be generous and let it uh, settle on the recesses. Uh, but at the edges where it touches the skin, it's okay if it touches a little and uh, contours these areas. Just touching the skin, it looks very good, but make sure not to use too much towards the, those edges because it might, might, it might spill and it might look very bad uh, if you have uh, uh, blobs or blotches of this uh, very high uh, saturation purple on your perfectly painted skin. Once it's done, you can stop here. This is a pretty good looking model already. But I'm going to continue to highlight it and I'm going to start with Stormhole Silver to bring back uh, the highlights on the silver areas. And this is just uh, taking the most protruded and the most uh, sharpest edges on the silver, leaving the recesses and all of the shaded parts with the previous color. And this is going to go mostly all over the, the armor pieces. And um, you could uh, speed this up by dry brushing but I prefer to go in and individually pick those details because it looks a lot better, it looks a lot more brighter. If you if you go in and, and dry brush, it could look a little bit um, like dusty or not as clear as if you did it by hand, like, like manually just uh, highlighting those areas. And that's really all you need to do for the silver. I'm going to move on to the pink and for that I'm going to use pink horror and I'm going to do the same thing just in the pink areas. Especially on the hair and places like that, it's way better to go individually and try to paint those hair strands one by one. It looks way better. You could also dry brush if you're in a hurry, but uh, this looks uh, a little bit better. Uh, make sure to thin this color down and uh, make sure that you reach uh, a pretty good opacity because if you thin a little bit too much, this color might not cover that well over the Screamer Pink, uh, but uh, give it a couple coats if it needs it. Picking these highlights is uh, the most time consuming steps, so you might want to dry brush if you're painting a lot of these. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, it really it's really worth it to go in and paint these highlights like this And to finish it up, I'm going to use the same uh, pink horror and I'm going to mix it with flayed one flesh uh, Just uh, use mostly two parts flayed one flesh and one part pink horror to reach a uh, color that it's in the middle from play what from flayed one flesh and pink horror to pick up the brightest highlights I went I wanted a more fleshy like uh, highlight extreme highlight on these areas so that i went with this combination of colors i didn't went with emperor's children although you could use that color instead if you want but it's going to be a lot more uh, uh, saturated and more pink than fleshy so i'm going to use this colors instead and just paint the sharpest edges of the claws and all of the sharpest details that you can find on the hair with where light would reflect and on the very tips and this is the finished model. So thank you very much to Raging Heroes for sending me this model. It looks uh, pretty amazing. I like it very much, even more painted. And uh, I've been eyeing these models on their website for a long time. I think they resemble a lot the old demonets from Juan Diaz that are very coveted on eBay. And uh, I've been looking and trying to buy some of them, but these model fit that role very well. They look pretty amazing and I had a lot of fun painting them. Uh, the only thing that they have uh, small details and they are fragile as with the fine cast. I think they are a little bit more sturdy than fine cast, but still it's resin and it's fine detail. They look pretty amazing, but you have to be careful when you handle them. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please like the video, comment on it and subscribe to the channel to see more videos. That really helps my channel out. And if you can, just click that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload because uh, YouTube doesn't notify you all the time. So if you click it, you might get, you might not miss my videos. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next video. You stayed. Great. Thank you very much for supporting my channel. And if you would like to become a patron, there is a link to my Patreon page in the description below. Your contributions help 
pay for my work and keeps the channel going. A single dollar a month is more than enough and you can cancel it at any time. If you can't, don't worry, you can support my channel by simply watching my videos and sharing them with your friends. Thank you for watching, have a great day and I'll see you on the next one.